pretty much this is straight up goodbye to my 22 year old self and literally less than 24 hours I'll be saying hello to my 23 year old self which dear gosh how the time is just a damn demon in the skies honestly we've been doing this YouTube business for about almost five years now it's more than you know half of four so it's getting on ahead into five when we get to September man lots of shit like happened we hit the 2k that's nice but outside of that never really hit another big milestone honestly I mean granted it's understandable because I don't necessarily like super talk to a ton of people even though I am very much open to the idea of talking to people and secondly i would say it's also because i don't really chase hella big trends like that unless it's like something really big to talk about then that's that but outside of that that just not really been something that we do much less my viewers kind of comes from things of the lolly related topics or anytime we talk about something kind of somewhat serious or there's any type of time where we talk about some fine ass woman because that's what we do and those are really where the viewership and counts and stuff kind of really come in from but outside of anything else you know it's just not necessarily gonna happen literally yesterday was a whole example of that if you really want to think about it because i yes talk about genshin sometimes but do it really be like the thing that people look to on this channel that much not necessarily you know it just that just kind of is what it is and kind of how it is unless i were just to go ham on get you to cause it and then it would be like you know if people would give it maybe a bit more of a chance but you get the idea trying to do anything like new or something that is out of the ballpark what we usually do is oftentimes not necessarily going to be a thing that people will look into or it's going to be something that's super well received like that because it's new like we don't know what the hell this is so that's understandable but at the very same time that's kind of how Kakatsu was like in the beginning two years back because yeah people didn't know what the hell this was they I mean granted the older episodes got like over hundreds of views so that's amazing but at the very same time you know it was still like a brand new thing you don't know what the hell it was and now it's kind of just fluctuating from the double digits to triple digits and you know that just kind of is what it is when it comes down to it but still it's something I just very much enjoy and while we're on the topic of that number one uh, I will be dropping the next, if everything goes well, I'll be dropping the next episode of Kakashi Story tomorrow. So, you know, expect that for my birthday. And then when it comes down to it, Kakatsu really with this story has been a interesting one because for people that obviously know, this isn't the first story I've written. There's a whole another story I haven't really talked about too much and posted it because I really want to put that into an actual anime format. And doing this one, was more of a test of my abilities to write and to kind of craft a story and tell it because I haven't never really done anything like that and I was thinking if I was going to be able to create this anime then I need to test my grounds first to see how people would receive this one and fair to say that people do genuinely care there's been fan art of some of the characters that's been out there which is awesome and you know there's been a lot of people that has you know come through and enjoyed the story as you can kind of see with the viewership so you know it's very nice to see honestly that there is something that's been growing for it but if i have to be honest with you i would want more for that right i would want to see that series to grow a lot more and a lot more people to know about it but you know it just takes time to build it up and granted i don't really post the characters a lot of the time on this channel much less just overall period but still nonetheless you know it's something that can grow and something that probably could honestly get me out of the trenches of where we are at at the moment but to be honest it's like a passion project for me to be you know writing this every month and try to get you an episode out much less it's something that I'm just really heavily focused on and it's never left my brain for even a day honestly because I'm obviously thinking what's the next thing I could do how do we kind of go about this thing and that thing and that thing you know and just kind of go about it from there because that's just kind of how I've always been for like the past eight years with you know writing not only this story but also writing the other story as well and that one's a lot further along than what this one currently is but it's always been my dream to honestly make an anime of some kind 
and when it comes down to it that's what a lot of youtube at least as a biggest fat goal for me is to create that anime and actually get that going with an actual full length episode of things but obviously getting to that point is the toughest challenge because obviously that's not necessarily something that's in the cards right now but it's still something that i very much hold close to me because well it's like the main big thing of what i want to do okay maybe it's like one of the main big things i want to do because another big thing is to be invited to an anime convention and have all the finest cosplayers to get on top of me but that's also a damn dream that i would like to see come through and also if you haven't noticed within jsx4 i haven't heavily focused like on the original character side of the story and the main reason why i haven't is because i want to build those characters up to a point where you can kind of get familiar with them and understand them in some shape or form For, because obviously if i were to let's say this story actually does get bigger and people actually start noticing and people want to know more about them and stuff like that i can't take konako and put her into that damn story right even though i gave her the power of purification kinda even though i did that shit, i can't just take konako and put her in the story unless I would have changed up her design drastically and you know do something different with that but that's the reason why I've been spamming also quite a bit of original characters because if the day were to come where hey JSX4 gets his own game or something of the sort I would want you know the original characters to be a plenty and not just people of the harem variety like symphony in them but also somebody they met that maybe outside of it you know like Shitoya or any of the three girls i basically mentioned that's in that group honestly like fuli and all them so that's something that i also wanted to do so definitely expect you know some more original characters to come through in the future i ain't got nobody playing right now but expect more of that to come through in the future because that's just something that will have to happen but you know if something like that were to come through obviously can't just use Lamine even though she got a big ass pair of tits even though I would love to have that to happen and you know put that in the game I just can't necessarily do it because of legality I may not be able to drop a whole big bazankas of Madaka in the damn show or, or game or whatever but here's some juicy blues for your thirsty ass so there you go right and there's plenty of more thinking of like that that makes me want to make more original characters too so there's reasons for all this stuff though I would say another thing too that needs to kind of change for me is also the fact that I would like to post these girls a lot more than I normally do because a lot of the time let's be honest the only time you'll see them is when there is story that's involved and I want them to kind of be plastered all over not just you know Twitter but somehow put them on the channel too because I have whole sprites of them that I barely even use because I use my bitch ass character like a lot of the damn time. Would it be nice to see Symphony maybe in some of these damn videos or Shion or literally anybody else that isn't this raggedy ass me. So that's just how it is. But you know and maybe that might appeal to somebody to be like damn I want to see more of this character. Who are these characters? Why, why are they plastered all over the damn place? I don't know but I want to see more and maybe we might get some things going when it comes to that department. But my point of what I'm trying to make though is essentially this. I'm going to be 23 literally tomorrow and when it comes down to it in this upcoming of a few months it's going to be five years since I started really starting making content for this channel. And when it comes down to it, I don't want to necessarily have my 23 year old self and really even now being still stuck in the same stupid ass position and not having anything to show for it when it comes to this channel. I want that potential that people basically say that I have and actually use it, actually see it be done in some shape or form and you know brought to the forefront when it comes down to it because there is no point of me continuing this channel if there is nothing that heavily changes i've been seeing our numbers increase slightly ever so you know a few numbers here here but to be honest it's not really the fast as it could go and i know it can absolutely go faster there ain't no damn way i do this for five years and still have absolutely nothing to show for it and not even a good bit of income to come through from it or anything of the sort. It's just something that has been bothering me for a while. And to be perfectly honest, I don't know how to get out of this nonsense. I don't know what desperate way 
I need to prove to people that there is something good in this channel. I don't know what it is, but it's just something that been bothering me. And the last thing I would want is for literally the stories I want to write, whether it is the one where Saki comes from or literally the JXS4 one, doesn't matter. It will be an absolute shame for me to basically just give up on making this channel try to work and then those characters just forever not exist or don't necessarily carry on anymore. And that will be probably the worst and most egregious crime. So if not from me, I'm doing and continuing this channel, especially for those characters and those ideas, because I want them to be out there and I want them to succeed as characters and be out there for a lot of people to see and understand them because hopefully there'll be characters that people can honestly maybe sometimes relate to or just enjoy or see as their favorite character or whatever the hell and that's like a huge thing that i want to really focus on in the future so you know it's challenging it's been challenging but that challenging days should be over i'm just ready to receive whatever good thing that happens because i should be at a bigger level right now i should be honestly at a level where we should be able to just to have a nice little meetup at some damn convention at some point in time i should be able to get invited to a convention you know and people know automatically who the hell i am when it comes down to me i ain't saying all this to be like you know prideful or boastful but i'm saying this because it just feel like it's been some time and Oh boy, would it be nice to see something actually grow from all this. Like I understand, I got a lot to learn and definitely there's a lot of things I've said and have done. But at the very same time, you know, enough is basically enough. I would like to see this channel not just grow just so I can help out my family, but for me to know that I also did something that is worth my time in this life, honestly. I put, again, damn near five years of time in this channel. And that's five years of trying to be consistent, five years of coming up with new ideas, five years of almost just like, you know, basically busting ass and just throwing everything I have at the wall. And I refuse to let the 23 year old version of myself to just stay in the same position as I was in previous ages and incarnations of who I was. So when it hits 23 of tomorrow, best believe there will be some type of change if there is no type of change then maybe i might need might if there is no sort of change by the time i hit 23 then maybe i need to stop making content or maybe stop making content as much as i do and just focus on other things and go less on what i do because literally there is no type of reason as to why we're still here literally none i've seen people grow in literally no time at all people hit 10k only for them 10 months later to be at 200,000. there ain't no effing way so when it comes down to it i'm gonna be putting literally everything and putting all my knowledge to the test of the 23 year old version myself even now and when it comes down to it if nothing really comes through from it this just might be a dead operation to say the most of it so hopefully that doesn't happen hopefully we can actually get something this time and I will be trying. Definitely be sharing the channel around you guys because when it comes down to it, I don't necessarily have a chance of growing or even being something to some of you if, you know, the channel doesn't be shared around. So that's why I heavily want to do this. And, and it's only really, to be honest, this channel is like the only thing I really want to do. It's the only thing that I find enjoyment of and potentially maybe change your lives of and inspire you to do things as well. Because if I can come out of this mess, then that can just prove to other people that there is a strong possibility that even in your poorest of times or even in your lowest of times, you could do something too. And I refuse to believe that for five years almost coming on that I can't make it out and everybody else just figure out weird and crazy and, you know, unique ways of doing so. So I feel like my name is going to be there at some point in time in the bigger upper rooms of people. So it's just only a matter of time. I don't know when, but it'll be a matter of time and I refuse to let it be slip into my hands yet again. But that's really essentially all I wanted to say for this one, just to kind of talk about the show a bit more and just kind of talk about my ambitiousness at the very end of things, because again, it doesn't make sense to be here right now after so many times of putting in the work and effort and people see this stuff. So at the end of it, hopefully we'll get that growth and hopefully 
you know, the Lord's willing, we'll be able to reach higher heights than we ever seen coming. So, you know, the sky's the limit, basically. But that's essentially all I really want to say for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, like, share all the way out. Also, follow me on socials, you like to the channel, Ko-Fi, Cash App is available as well. And until then, it's Boy J, signing off. Have a blessed day.